Hello and welcome. Thanks for popping into my channel. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for me. If you find this content helpful, smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video. Comment below with anything that you need help with or topics you'd like me to cover. And check out my website, consultingninja.tech. With that out of the way, let's get to it. We are looking at action. Inside of pluspage.server, we can add actions. And this is form actions. Let's jump right into what that looks like. I'm going to show you guys the documentation just real quick and then we'll get to the coding. So inside of a plus page dot server, on top of your load function, you also can have actions. You can have a default action and you can have named actions. And we can map those different ways. So let's just go take a look at adding some in right away. I previously put together this little, just a little skeleton application. There's nothing special here except for centering everything and making the background my favorite color black. So here we have a plus page dot svelte. This is the home page. And then I've already made a plus page dot server dot JS. And I was showing you guys the API, how to turn a skeleton application into a API and adding API gets and posts and all that awesome stuff that's available in Svelte. And by the way, I don't ever get tired of telling you guys how awesome Svelte and Svelte Kit are. <laughs> if, you, if you didn't get that already, well, uh, I'm just going to tell you, I will never get tired of telling you how awesome Svelte Kit is because I've used other frameworks. I've developed in other environments. And let me tell you, this is just, it's night and day, the difference and how simple and straightforward different things are to do using Svelte and using Svelte Kit compared to their counterparts. Anyway, getting in here inside of our plus page.server.js, here's our load function and we're not gonna do anything with that. Uh, below that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do export const actions. And these actions are available from multiple locations. It, this is really cool, but it's almost like a mini API because you can ping these from multiple locations. You don't have to ping this from the same location where this load data is going to. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But what we want to do here is const data. What we have available here in event is everything that I showed you guys the other day. I will show you again here in just a second, but we want to await event dot request dot form data whoops like that and this is going to give us all of our form data i'm going to comment this out first and then i'm just going to console.log event see so that you guys can see everything that's in there if you've not seen my other video so we have an action and i'm going to point out that this is a default action and there are named ones and we'll get there in just a second. So just one action, default action, and to make use of this, this is the part that's just, oh, Svelte Kit makes everything so easy for developers. Inside of our uh, plus page dot Svelte, all we need to do is make a form. So let's make a form. Method post. There's an optional action here and I'll show you guys that in just a minute. It's for if you need to ping a named action or if you want to nest them. And I'll, and I'll also show you guys that. So let's make a label for, whoops, first name. And then we can copy this. We're going to use this all over the place. And we can make this. Let first name equal string. Let, and then let's make this last name. Last name equal empty string. Initialize our stuff here. We'll keep this super straightforward. Let's just do a first name and last name. We don't need to get crazy with this example. I just want you guys to see what's available. And then we need to make an input, right? So input type equals text name equals well you guessed it and then we're going to bind value 
to guess what first name again <laughs> oh man no functions a handler function to keep this value in check nope nope svelte kit just makes it all magic for us whoops i probably should have put <laughs> space there and we probably could also let's add in a some brs so that this doesn't look absolutely terrible next to each other we'll put one in between each item here like this and then this let's just copy our last name and last name last name last name last name copy and paste wizard that's my nickname the copy and paste wizard and then right here this is the other crazy part so all you do is put button doesn't even matter what you say what you put in here the default thing that it's going to do is ping the default action which makes absolutely perfect sense right if we have a default action in our plus page.server.js then it would make sense that the default thing that we're going to do is uh, use that default action and two things i want to point out here the method here is equal to post the method here it needs to be post because this is under the hood is using a post request and it will always use a post request and get requests are not available because get requests should not have side effects whereas a, a, what we're doing here with this action is most certainly going to have a side effect you're either going to be registering a user logging a user in something of that nature and so that's a side effect and so get request uh, is not appropriate there so here we go we have this plus page dot server dot js exporting a default function and inside of, of plus page dot svelte, we just have a form with a method and, and two fields. Let's take a look. Here is our first name, last name. Let's go ahead and enter in some information. So John Costa. And if I hit submit, I got an error. Oh, I did not take out the export let data. Go ahead and remove that because we are not using that now. John Costa and submit. And let's go take a look at our console.log. And all we console.log again was the entire event. So if you've not seen the Svelte API video, I'll link to that in the description. That's super cool stuff as well. But this is everything that we have available in the event. And again, it's extensive. We have the ability to get and set cookies. We have our whole request. And here we also have the form data is in there. And we have the URL, all kinds of stuff available to us inside of this event. But let's go ahead and remove this. And now instead of console.logging the entire event, let's just console.log data. And let's go put in some John and some Costa and submit that and so what we're looking at here is the form and this is the way that it comes through in event.request so name it's the name of the form field so inside a form all of your inputs have a name and th the name is first name that's the name that we gave it when we set it up inside of our plus page dot svelte and then the value is what was actually typed into that field so that's what we're looking at here so that's super sweet right so we have access to that action and that's a default action. Let's go take a look at what it would look like to make a named action. So here, in here, all we need to do is, let's make this a named action. So let's say register. And then another cool thing that you can do is you can put brackets in here and pull individual things out of the event. So you can do request like that and then backspace the event off and now, save that and inside of our plus page dot svelte there's one thing that we have to do here when you're using a named action you have to add this little attribute here action equals question mark slash and then the name of the action All right like that and now we can go in here and let's choose bob johnson i like use all these <laughs> generic names and submit that and you can see, I'm going to show you here, it's pinging that parameter there. 
in the URL bar. And then here, there is our console.log of our request.form data. So pretty sweet stuff, right? Pretty sweet, sweet. And some other cool thing that you can do here is let's say that you had or you wanted to use one form with two actions. You absolutely can do that uh, with SvelteKit very easily. Inside of plus page.server.js, let's go ahead and copy register like this. And let's call this one login. And then we got to put a comma there since we're adding one more. Uh, I will point out briefly here that you cannot have a default action with a named action. They talk about why in the documentation, and I'll link to where right where that uh, documentation for form actions is at. But you cannot have a default action and a named action. You either have to have just a default with no other uh, actions or named actions. So that's that's something to keep in mind there. But let's say that you wanted to have one form that could either log in or register. So this is super sweet because inside of our plus page dot server, you can just add another button. And let's say this one would be login. And the bottom one would be register. All you need to do is do a form action and then put where you're pinging. So the, the login, the default, I'm sorry, here, this would be login. So the default action would be login, but if they don't have an account, then you'd ping the register action. And I'm gonna save that, but I'm gonna go back so that you guys can see the difference. And I'm gonna add a little, little uh, information here. So console.log, let's do login action. And I'll just get rid of this because I, don't, I want it to be clear what's going on. And then this will be register action. And I'll make this capital for consistency purposes. Okay, so let's choose Bob Johnson again. And if I hit login, now you'll see there's the login action. But if I choose John Costa and register, then there is the register action. So you can actually use one form for two different things super easily by just changing uh, which action you want to use. And then the other part of this that I will point out is that you also could add a, let's say you had a special little sign in spot, uh, you know, some sort of small component inside of your navigation bar you could have a, a login component there and actually you could ping that same exact login uh, action by doing the same exact thing. You just put your form just like this inside of your component and then you just tell it in the form action uh, that you're pinging the question mark slash login action and th that will actually ping that login for you. So you can use this to quickly set up actions available in multiple places through your application, create a form like this that lets you do multiple things, login or register. And again, because it's SvelteKit, it's so easy. <laughs> they make it so easy. Oh, I love the SvelteKit developers and the Svelte developers. You guys are great, man. Thank you so much. I love playing around with this. I love learning it. I hope that you guys have found this video helpful. If you did, please give a like and comment below with what your thoughts were. It certainly would help me out. And as always, have a good day.